everybody, what's up? It's Jasmine. Welcome back to another episode of A Girls Podcast brought to you by Jasmine Rule, famous in New Zealand since ages ago. Kind of true in a way. I was on the news one time for a YouTube video I did on the Christchurch flooding and also I've been in the newspaper a few times for uh, my croquet adventures. So, I mean, mostly a lie, but a little bit true. So today, unfortunately, we're having another sad podcast and I feel really uh, bad about bringing that to you guys again because we've had a few weeks where I have been feeling quite good um, and that has shown in my podcast, doing live streams as well. So I think, I think we've all enjoyed it, to be fair. So right now I should be editing my thumbnail for um, the previous podcast but I had to take a break because there are some things on my chest that I need to get off of the chest without surgery. Um, so uh, I have been feeling a lot better and I've been going to work and doing some really good work. I've been sending out huge deliveries of face masks and visors and um, aprons and you know everything that you need for treating patients with COVID and all the regulations and everything like that. And on Friday I got some praise for that and I've been feeling really good about that. I started to feel like I was getting back in the game, you know, feeling less depressed. It felt like my medicine was working and that, you know, I could start picking up more tasks at work because, I, you know, I haven't been working as hard as everybody else. Um, but I mean, I expected that, you know, I expected that, you know, I would focus on these sort of tasks where it's back and forth picking up these boxes to be delivered and wrapping them up, um, you know, like onto the big pallets and then shipping them off. Like, that's what I accepted, you know, that I wouldn't be doing all the sort of more draining stuff, although it has been quite draining, you know, it's a full day's work. It, it's, it's still difficult in itself, but, you know, just for me, I realized that I needed something where I wasn't changing tasks all the time, you know, where I was just going back and forth between the outside and the inside where we store all the stuff and and that's been working, you know, I've, and then I, I got praise for it and I felt really good about it and then on Monday I was doing the same thing. I had five orders to fill out. Um, it wasn't like the same amount of quantities of things so I managed to get four of them done on the one day and then uh, the fifth one was a bit more complicated because we have a type of disinfectant um, but there's another type that was requested but we don't we've run out of that so I uh, need to contact the people who put the order through to see if the other sort that we do have is fine. So that one I had left over for the Tuesday. Um, I also had new declaration forms I need to fill out for uh, the deliveries. Um, so you know I, I had like a little list of things to do and everything takes time and especially for me not feeling you know a hundred percent you know still trying to get back up to where I was before. You know I, I know that it takes me a bit longer and I think that that was fine you know my understanding was that it was fine that I was you know just chugging along and getting as much done you know taking you know maybe a little bit more breaks than usual um just to make sure that I didn't fall back and start to feel really bad again you know so then on the Tuesday like it's 5 30 in the morning I'm on the bus um, I call mum, um, I can't remember why, did I ask if I could call her? Yeah, I must have done that, but I can't remember if I was feeling 
bad or anything but anyway so I call her and we're talking and we had a really great conversation like sometimes when mum and I talk we don't necessarily say everything that's on our mind or like how we're feeling and then sometimes it doesn't feel as great because um, you know, I think I think we both feel a lot better when we can help each other. So during this conversation, you know, I, I feel like we really said how we were feeling and we could help each other, you know, giving each other some words to pep each other up. And so, um, so we continued talking and I was talking about croquet and things that I was looking forward to and things like that and, and also talking about things that didn't go so well and that I was frustrated about so then you know we were talking so much that when I got to work I was still talking to her as, as I was getting changed into my work clothes and then you know uh, obviously I had to end the call because then it was time to work but I was feeling so happy you know it was such a great conversation um, and then almost straight away after I ended the call uh, one of my co-workers called me so it's like quarter past six in the morning like super early and she calls me and she quickly asks how I'm doing and you know obviously I said good you know because I was feeling really good um not only because I talked to mum but also because I'd been doing some really good work and I felt really good about that um and she asked like if we can have a meeting so well f actually first she asked if I was at work which I thought was really strange because well, of course I'm at work um so yeah so she asked to have a meeting so you know I say yeah and I just um you know close my locker and then head out and then there my two co-workers are you know the main ones that I work with um another one he's um he's injured so he's not at work and the other one's on holiday and there's also another one who's on who's injured so anyway they were there and like it was so weird because straight away they like they're like what are you doing like you don't have these orders to fill out um I think they even asked me what I was doing yesterday I can't really remember I was so in shock because I do have orders to fill out so it just wasn't true um, yeah, so they're telling me, like, what do you do? You don't have any orders to fill out, like, what are you, yeah, what are you doing? Um, and I was like, I, I do have orders to fill out, that's not true. And they said, um, like, what orders and I'm like this you know there's five of them that I was working on yesterday four of them are done and I have one left I might have even said that there were seven because you know I'd like mess the numbers up but you know that there was like a significant amount of them um and then I also said you know and on top of that I also have these declaration forms to fill out so and then I was really shocked and really hurt that they were saying that I didn't have anything to do like basically accusing me of like not working um and and I said you know I, I also have these declaration films forms to fill out and they're like what declaration forms and I'm like the ones we talked about on Friday because on Friday we had a meeting with um the people who are also organizing these shipments that we have to to fill out and send away and so like they know that there are declaration forms in the works that um have been you know a work in progress like I sent some off last week but they weren't accepted because there were like some information missing um and then since then I had received the information that I need to put in so that's why I'm you know redoing them again and I explained that and they but they were they like didn't grasp the concept or or I don't even know so, so they're like like not understanding and like repeating like you know what is it for like a declaration form and on top of that not only is it 
like just those declaration forms there's another one on top of it to do with like how the boxes are marked so so there's like another form that I had to f have to fill out that we didn't know about last week um, so I said that like and now we have this other form that has to be filled out so like I was able to tell them you know what I was doing yesterday and also what I'm going to be doing you know today um, obviously that was yesterday um, so I was super shocked and they, they'll, but they're also not accepting that I had these orders to fill out. They're like, oh, we don't know anything about these orders. Like what orders are these? And I'm like, they came in on Friday after uh, midday. So, um, you know, so we couldn't fill them in time because it was like midday is like near the end of our working day because we start so early. Um, and they're like, you know, we don't know about those ones. And, and I'm like, um, that you guys don't know about that? Like, that doesn't have anything to do with me. Like, it's not my job to, um, you know, print out these order forms and then go down and, and find where they're working and tell them, them like, hey, I have five order forms. Like, they're not my bosses, they're my co-workers and um, the understanding is that we all rely on each other to make sure that everything is done and I have been given this job that has been uh, super big uh, because we're going into summer so they've been wanting to get as many orders filled out as possible so it's been an increase in work. Um, so they just were really kind of rude about it um, and I was really shocked and I started to get like I mean I started to see bread and I'm trying to explain these things but also um, also it's kind of ridiculous that I have to explain it to them and and they just you know kept repeating like that they don't know about these these order forms and they don't know about these uh, declaration forms and um, and it's so obvious that like they don't believe me um, so then so then like they ask like they, they're telling me that like they don't know what's being done and and that they have a lot of work to do and um they want to know like what I can do to help them you know um like have less work to do and which I think is completely fine like that sounds really fair um so you know they asked me like can I t pick up the post at the end of the day and of course you know I said yes because like that's fine like you know I've been feeling a lot better so I don't mind picking up you know extra responsibilities like I think that that's fine um so and th but then they also wanted me to do this other job which is like um packing in all of these like normal hospital materials like needles and things like that into the different departments in the hospital um they asked if I had time for that and I said no I don't have time for that because I have this order that I have to fill out and then I also have these forms that I have to fill out and then obviously if I'm collecting posts as well like I can't guarantee that I do have time for that um and I think that that was fair like I mean, I, you know, I gave my honest opinion about that, um, and, I mean, as it turns out, I was right, like, I didn't manage to complete those order forms, um, so, you know, I was right, I didn't have time for it, um, so, and they, they like, they kind of seemed irritated about that, but, I mean, you know, i got to put my foot down, like, that's part of you know, advocating for yourself is saying, no, I don't have the ability to do that right now. Um, and then after that, I went into the office and I 
just you know I was really sad and really shocked that they like did that I mean it was just so <sighs> crazy because it like what they were saying just wasn't true and and also if they don't understand you know the job like that doesn't have anything to do with me like that's no fault on my own um and that like they don't need to know like why do they need to know the specifics of the order forms if they're not doing that like I mean sure we can have a meeting where I explain everything that I do and in the process of filling out the order forms and all the numbers that 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 belong to the different equipment that ha you have to find and, and put in and everything like that like I can do that but that's you know we don't do that and that seems like a really waste of time if they if that's not a problem that they're involved with so it was super weird and um and straight away you know like <laughs> I mean the reason why I was in hospital was because I was having panic attacks and feeling really awful so um I felt really panicked but but also I mean just like mostly really really sad so I I knew that I had to like message my boss about it because um because I like I can't go into work every day and be confronted in that way like if they want to ask me like hey we have this job and this job like is there anything that you can pick up and help out with like that's totally fine but not not um you know telling first telling me that I don't have any work to do and then and then forcing me to try and explain in a way that they'll understand like what it is that that I have to do like it was just like that's just not sustainable so I messaged my boss and I like I, I tell him everything like how it felt and and you know like if this is how it's gonna be like well then it would be better if I took time off work because um, because with the you know the illness that I have at the moment um, you know the doctors like they asked me if I wanted to take time off work and they they would like write out permission for that um, but I said no and you know I talked to my boss and like everything was like you know we came to an agreement about how things would work so that I would be able to keep on working um, but obviously if that's not going to work and, and they're going to keep on behaving like they're behaving then it would be better if I took time off work and just focused on myself. Um, so then after breakfast we had a meeting and and so first it was him and I that met and we talked about everything and like he just kept on trying to tell me that like the reason why that they're, they're acting like this is because they really care about me and they just want to know you know they they worry about me when they don't see me you know when I'm off working like filling these forms out like why would they be seeing me you know the in another part doing their work I'm in another part like between these two places doing my work so why would they be seeing me constantly like that doesn't make any sense but anyway so he's like telling me that the reason why they're like this is because they're really worried about me which I think is seriously not true and like if he actually believes that, that like that's kind of crazy like I feel like maybe he's been gaslighted by them um, because you know when you care about someone then you you ask them like hey how's the work going like do you need any help you know hey buddy how's it going not hey you don't have any work to do um, and then trying to deny that I had the work to do even though yeah even though like I could just log on to the computer and show them that I had these five orders to do but I'm not like a passive aggressive person who's like uh, you know he here's all the stuff that I have to do thanks for not believing me you know so so freaking ridiculous um so I didn't believe that for a second um and then <laughs> And then he's like, well, you know, we'll call the others in and see if we can, like, 
come to a conclusion and everything. And like my boss, he's a really nice guy. Like it's fine that he thinks that they're doing this because they really care about me. But it's just, you know, you like you do want a boss that sees things for the way they are, right? Um, so, you know, and he also called it like a miscommunication and I'm like, mate, you know, like, oh, these guys. Um, and he, like, he also brought up that, you know, he noticed that I've been feeling a lot, lot better lately. And that's the thing, like, I have been, which is why it's so soul destroying that they did that because, you know, I've been feeling really good. I've been, you know, putting myself out there, you know, trying to make it to all of my, you know, my friend meetups and croquet events and everything like that. And it, like, it's difficult because of the medication and, you know, like sometimes I don't feel so great, you know, so like you need to keep on taking things slow and building up, you know, just because I feel pretty good for two weeks doesn't mean that I'm on top again, you know, but I did really feel like I was, I was getting up there and then they like smacked me down again, like it was so awful. So then like they get called in and oh my god, it's just so, 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 oh my god, honestly, so this, you know, my co-worker, he's like, <sighs> I mean, so he's like defending the, like the summer workers and like just not listening, not only to me, but also not listening to the other co-worker who, you know, was against me before. So you have this guy who's like saying we should be following the scheme and this is how things should be working and blah 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 and that's fine like that's how it would be in a normal situation but we're not in a normal situation right now like we haven't been in a normal situation since corona hit because we've had more responsibilities and those responsibilities is what I've been fulfilling so, I mean, I started crying during the meeting because it's so frustrating to have somebody who's, who just isn't listening at all. And my coworker, she was talking about an event that happened last week where those two workers, they were really busy with stuff, you know, just like flat out work. And then they went up and she asked one of the two summer guys to collect the post and like the summer guys were really annoyed about it like they had a massive attitude about it and so she's explaining that that you know like they shouldn't be having an attitude about stuff like that like they're there to help us out and the other co-worker he's like no we weren't really busy what like why is he denying that they were really busy like if he doesn't think they were busy then he can damn well ha ha collect the post like what is he even doing? It's like he was there to sabotage everything that we were saying and and it was just confirmation to me that like you we can't I mean I can't work with him. Like he's he just it's talking to a brick wall, like unless you have a dick then he ain't listening to you, you know what I mean? Like it was so ridiculous. <laughs> Um, so, so then the conclusion was that every morning we would have a meeting and we would talk about all the tasks that we were going to do that day. And I'm like, all right, well, we can do that, whatever. But it does not solve the issue of them, like, trashing on the work that I do and being unsympathetic to the situation that I'm going through, um, you know, and what about these summer workers, like, does that mean we can't ask them for help, because our other co-worker is going to jump on us and be like, oh, you know, we're not busy, like, what are you talking about, Ooh. <sighs> so hurtful, and ridiculous. 
So I knew that I wouldn't be able to go to work the next day because of how I was feeling and so I called in sick with the intention of taking the whole like the rest of the week off but then my boss called me and he wants to have a meeting tomorrow um, in the afternoon so you know I will be going in at some point I don't know if I'll be going in for the whole day but yeah so yeah we're gonna have this meeting and it's just gonna be total garbage because that guy doesn't listen at all and he's really ridiculous I'll tell you what as well um at the end of the day that guy he came up to me and he's like oh yeah you know now I saw that you had those five orders to do huh and I'm like, yep. He didn't even say sorry or anything like that. Just like acknowledge that I had work. So uh, thank you for acknowledging that I have work. Like, <laughs> I don't need your acknowledgement. I just need you to not accuse me of not having work. And I guess accusing me as well of lying about the work that I'm doing. That's, yeah, I just need you to stop doing that. <sighs> It's <sighs> and my other co like I have this one coworker who stands up for me and you know really sees what I do and you know respects that people are are doing stuff and and. But now, I mean, he's on holiday, and so two days, like, the se the m second morning after he's on holiday, this happens. I don't think it's a coincidence. Yeah. So that's what I have gone through, and what's really smacked me down, and made me really unsure about how... Or what would be the best thing for me right now because I really did think that not taking sick leave and going into work and uh, steadily increasing my uh, duties at work and getting all the social contact like I thought that it was was the best idea like the best plan um, and now I don't know if that is the best plan so I'm not going to make any rash decisions straight away, but it's, it's definitely something that I need to consider. Yeah, it's a shame to lose the income from taking sick leave, but at the same time, like, we are talking about um, me having suicidal thoughts and, and things like that. So, so it's also not something that I should just... Uh, you know, uh, glaze over and just try and muscle through it as best I can, you know, like I really do need to, you know, think about what would be the best to avoid, you know, something bad happening. Yeah, so that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. I really needed to vent about it. Um, I did talk to mum about it and she, you know, she said that, it, yeah, it's probably best to take the rest of the week off, but now I have to go on for that meeting, so we'll see. But, yeah, you guys are like my internet mums, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody has a much better week than I did and we will see each other again on much better terms, I am sure. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. See you guys all next time. Hey, door.